<clears throat> Praise the Lord, everybody. I am Timothy Dixon, a minister and a part of the time over the road truck driver. Uh, I want to encourage you tonight. I want to, well, it's tonight now. It might be morning for you, but uh, I want to encourage you on this video to, uh, I'm going to go over the one of the first videos that I've put out here about the dream I had about the Capitol and the uh, overtaking of the Capitol on January 6th. I want to go over to where you can understand um, why that particular dream, it really has been, uh, it's the way God talks to me. And uh, it really makes it just beyond real. I have no doubt. Uh, when something like this happens, it's just, it's proven to me, it's going to be. It's just going to be. Somehow God's going to do it. But I'm going to sing a little bit of this song. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for your power. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your divine awakening across this country, God. I thank you for opening our eyes to what's coming on the world. Lord, you have allowed all this stuff and all this that's been revealed the changes in our laws and stopping our freedom, stopping our freedom of speech, stopping our our churches, closing the churches down, all in the name of good, all in the name of health. Uh, Lord, I ask you to touch everyone's tonight. I know us. Open our eyes. Open our ears in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. We ask you, in the name of Jesus, break every chain and every fetter. I bind every spirit and every force, every demonic demon that's troubling people. God, I give them encouragement through the power, through the spirit of the whole right. In Jesus' name, I pray, Lord. What is a change coming? His servant come running and said, Lord, your children just died. Oh, Job lifted his hands. Oh, I believe he replied, There's a change coming my way. Lord, church, there's a change. I uh, I 
enjoy my guitar out here on the road. I, I'm in Denver, Colorado tonight. Uh, and uh, I want to talk to you just a few minutes. I want to encourage you. Um, back, uh, I want to explain some things and uh, those that has faith, you've uh, you've just got to have faith and you've got to believe uh, some of the things that I'm telling you. I can't help you if you don't. Uh, some of the stuff I'm telling you will prove out and you're going to believe anyway. But uh, I'm certain when God speaks to me there's a lot of people that uh, has backed up. They've uh, they give up. Uh, I've heard all kinds of different messages saying that we need to get over this. And uh, I'm not over God's Word. This has nothing to do with me. This has nothing to do with my faith. This has nothing to do with any of the prophets or apostles or teachers or pastors that is still standing uh, uh, to uh, proclaim this word that God has spoke to them. This is beyond us. It is a act of God. And when God, you know, they say, well, can, can God, God change his mind? Yes, he can. He's done it in the Bible. He's done it with Hezekiah. Uh, told him he'd die and before the man of God got out of the courts, you know, he, the Lord done different. And Jonah, you know, he went over and told him, in other words, you'd be destroyed and, and uh, so forth and so on. But there's some things that God will, through mercy, change his mind over. But there's some things that activates another rim or another step, another plan of God. And when God has a plan, it's going to be. You're not changing certain steps that's going to send mercy to the world. And the idea of this is this. It has really nothing to do with the man, our, our President Trump, even though I believe he's a good man. Uh, I'm sure if we dig hard enough, we'll find something wrong with him. Dig hard enough, we'll find something wrong with all of us. But God has chosen this man, you know, God chose Nebuchadnezzar to actually put his people in bondage. You know, and set him up, blessed him to put to put God's people, put Israel in bondage, and uh, to do what they done. And uh, but we are living in a time that God is speaking through His people. The word that God has spoke to me is profound. I don't know uh, exactly how things is going to take place, but the intuition and the spirit that I feel in my heart and the dreams that God has, how God speaks to me, I believe I, uh, I see God, I see the Lord muscling around. I see, I see the direction the Lord's headed. And one of it's for sure is this. I want you to look at what laws, if you're not a Christian, if you ain't a Christian and you don't go to church, okay, let's look, let's look at this. The law that is being passed by the administration that is so-called the president, which ain't, they're uh, 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 a counterfeit. And, and America did not vote him in. He is not the president. Trump is the president. That's how things work in this country. You don't steal something and say it's yours. If that's so, I just, you know, I just go pick me up one of these cars down here, steal it, you know, one of these uh, Q, Q80, one of these nice infinities or, or something. You know, and just take it off a lot, and then I don't see where there'd be any problem at all with it. You know, there's no widespread evidence of fraud. <laughs> but, but, but what I'm saying to you is this tonight, America, people, God's people, 
God has allowed this to happen to us to show us. He said um, back in 2013, 2014 area that <clears throat> uh, that I'll reveal things in the White House. I'll reveal the atrocities that will be worse than Watergate. And uh, Brother Mark Taylor, uh, he was one that prophesied some things. I believe it was 2013. There's no way in the world that 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 the man knew what he prophesied. If if God ain't speaking to him, um, the devil sure nailed it dead on the head. But there's no way that a man like that could know these things, lest God be speaking to that man. Brother Taylor, uh, prophet. I believe he's a prophet. He, I believe that's what he. I really not. I really ain't sure with what people's call are. I, I'm really not familiar with a lot, but I do remember um, Brother Taylor. I, I think he's. Uh, I think he felt like his calling was a prophet, but um, he prophesied some things, and um, um, he talked about a man that was coming from New York to be the president. This was before Donald Trump ever said anything about it, going to be president or anything. He said it. Uh, I can't remember every word, but it'd be real good if you looked that up, uh, Mark Taylor, uh, back in uh, 2013 in that area, uh, uh, somewhere in there. Uh, if Mark Taylor gets this, maybe he can repost that. It would be really great. Uh, but... Uh, he also said that the media would hate this man so bad in his first four years. But his second four years is what he said. That they would love him. Said that Dad, he named so much that's in there. You need to listen to that prophecy. He named so much there is no way on this earth that a man can guess what he guessed. Talking about the news media. Named off all this stuff that would go against him. And uh, they would steal the this and election and all. There ain't no way in the world at that time. it looked. I mean, it, it was just, uh, you know, it looked impossible for anything like he just prophesied to come to pass. But it did. In 2016, they brought that man out of New York. And he saw also, uh, he said that... Uh, that uh, all the stuff they were saying about him would pour on him like, like water off a duck's back. But getting into the dream I had, uh, just that's just one thing. There's many people, Brother Kent Christmas, Brother Hank, uh, uh, all kinds of, of different people. If I start naming names, I'll be here all night. But uh, there's, there's people out here that's prophesied, and they're still standing on the Word of God. Uh, if you didn't stand on it, don't, don't, don't kick yourself. Get back up and get your sword out and get your shield back up. Because the thing about it I've learned through, I've failed sometimes in my past. And what I've learned is this. If you fail a test, God's going to give you the golden opportunity to take the test again. Ain't he a good God? But the dream was this. Um, the first dream was about to take over the Capitol. And... When I seen this dream, it was a year ago. I just posted it because I had so many people begging me to put the dreams on and the stuff that God was showing me. And uh, January, a year ago, um, I seen... I had a, a dream, and in the dream, I saw the Capitol building. I saw that there was a big, huge crowd there uh, outside in the streets. Uh, I didn't understand that, and, and you you got to think, now, this is a year ago, and I, I don't watch a lot of news. I don't, I don't uh, see a lot of stuff like that, so I'm, I'm a little bit in the dark with news. Uh, different stuff. Uh, I do know some things. I do keep up with a few things, but I'm not one to just stay on a uh, something like that. Uh, it's become so false. You don't know what to believe. But I, I do listen to the Lord. I believe He speaks to people and speaks to us to guide the, the uh, nation. 
and, and uh, I believe our cause, a lot of the men of God and women of God out here today, God has chose us for this time that we're in. This is the time of Elijah. I believe it with all my heart. I believe that uh, there's a power that was released on the on that prayer that Brother Franklin Graham. That day when everybody appeared up there, something changed in the heavens. When all the return, Brother Jonathan and, and Brother Kent and all of them was up there with the return and all that, something changed, something in the atmosphere. It just broke and you could feel a power of God released, a power, a presence all throughout everywhere. And I saw that in the dream. I saw the Capitol. I saw it little small fires inside the building. I saw they had to vacate the place in the dream. I saw people breaking in, knocking out glass. But I saw some people in the back being let in by the police, which it looked like the police. I seen National Guard on the grounds perimeter. I seen live uh, I've seen infantry type or live military uh, uh, with guns and live ammunition on the ground. Uh, and, and, and I thought, Lord, what in the world am I seeing? And then I saw, uh, it's like it's, you know, it was skipping through segments like you was um, just different parts of like time lapses as it went on. And then I seen, uh, I seen Pence, excuse me, and Trump both left the White House or left Washington. And they left a, a, a little place and uh, like it down, they come out up front of a hallway, which I knew represented they were leaving out of the, the uh, authority or this power. I knew that. And I knew that there was a space. I knew it. The Spirit of God was speaking to me in a dream, saying that there'll be a space where there's no setting president. There'll be no power that President Trump would not have power to as a president during this space, but he would return. Now that I know for sure, just as sure as I'm sitting in the seat, nothing can change my mind. I, uh, nothing makes me doubt. God spoke it. It's going to be. I don't know how. I believe God allowed all this just going on right now just to dig up the, the mess and show everybody to jump because when God gets through everybody in this nation is going to blow so hard blow the whistle as in other dreams I've had I'll get in them another time but they're going to blow so hard and everybody Democrat I'm talking about not Republican not Democrat American people is going to stand up by the power of God and God's going to shake this world with a great revival but there was a space that there was no setting president there is no confusion. There was no president, no power. I knew that there was somebody that had power over Congress that had like took over the United States. I did not understand um, how the military worked at this point a year ago. I'd heard a lot of ifs and dis and schisms and that, and, but I really wasn't sure uh, that uh, like a lot of people thought that uh, uh, you know, uh, martial law meant one thing, but, you know, come find out, I think everybody got that wrong, you know, because of just pure news. But I, uh, I believe with all my heart uh, that there is definitely, there is a power, even though you might not see it. I know there's authority over that's got this. God is going to move on them. God's going to move on the Supreme Court. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is God. It ain't nothing to do. And again, I ain't trying to pin roses on me. I'm not some great man of God. I am a man of God. But I'm telling you, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in his word. I ain't backing up a bit on it. It's going to be, it's going to come to pass. Why? Because God's going to shake this earth with revival. And if God allowed the administration that's in it now in China to take over this country. I'm telling you, your Bibles will be locked up. Your freedom will be gone. You'll be uh, 
everything you can think about. They'll, they'll take your job, shut you down through sickness, just like they're done right now. But they're after the main thing is to take this up here. Don't want you to think. And then you won't be able to go to church. They already want to tell and dictate to the pastors what they can and can't preach. You can't preach against homosexuals. You can't preach against this when the Bible speaks about it. But I want you to be encouraged. God is going to move. Donald Trump's coming back to office. I don't know how, and I don't believe it'll be uh, just a very short time. I really believe that with all my heart. Uh, I, and again, I don't know a time. It ain't no year from now, and it ain't six months. I don't believe it'd be six months uh, at all. I believe God's going to wrap this up real quick. It's going to take some time just thinking. I might be wrong with it too, but I know there's a space. God could do it next week. I don't know. Again, I, I I know there was a space of time, but it ain't something crazy. Next four years, we're still hanging on to some prophecy that, you know, he read go, no, it ain't nothing like that. This is going to come to pass immediately. They're going to get arrested. God's going to put them out because they were gone in one of them. But I, I'm, I'm trying to stay out of them other dreams and just explain this one. But that one dream about to take over the Capitol, I seen it a year ago. I saw the 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 uh, pandemic coming in March, and and there's several people that knows me that sees this video. They know I've said it. They know I've told the dreams. They know I tell a lot of dreams where I preach at. They know these things. Uh, the different pastors throughout. They know the, about the the mask and the and something had a sickness had had hit, and they made it worse than it was. And the Lord, you know. Let us know it wasn't. It was just an attack of the devil on an attack on people's faith, you know. But uh, uh, what I was wanting to encourage you tonight is this: today, whatever time you're looking at this, I want you to know this: that I seen this dream a year ago. There is no way in the world that I could ever get that exactly like I was watching a video or movie, exactly what happened on on January 6th. Ain't, it's impossible. God showed it to me. God all showed the part that I have not seen come to pass yet is Trump return. Plain and simple. It's going to be, it's going to come to pass because God is not going to allow, not right now, Devil, you will not have this country, not right now. Jesus Christ is against you. The word of the Lord is against you. The power of the Almighty is against you. You have no authority here. We and others of my brothers and my sisters, we're against you. We are that army that rises up and we're the one that stands in the gap and stands in your way. This will come to pass. Pray with me. I want everybody to remember the children. I've had a really great burden since the Lord been showing me about different little children being trafficked and young, young teenage uh, kids, boys, girls. My heart's been so broken. Uh, they found some... Uh, out in uh, California, I believe uh, I've seen 33 or something like that they'd been working on, found some and uh, the Lord had showed me there's some up on the coast of Canada, up in there uh, having something to do with in and out of New York and so forth, so on way up in the upstates um, but uh, tied up it's, it's going to be it's going to be uh, it's going to be bad but they're working on it they're going to get them because God's going to unveil them. God's going to find them children. Lord, I ask you tonight, I ask you to, today, whatever, this morning, whatever time they're listening to this, I pray for the strength of, of the President of the United States, the real one, Lord. I pray for President Trump, and God, I also pray for Biden. I, Lord, my heart goes out that they would use such a man that don't even know where he's at. Use him, God, to do 
but you've got other things that you'll do. Got to that he'll that he'll you gonna move that out of the way. God, I ask you to touch everybody. I ask you to have mercy. I ask you to save and heal, deliver. All in the name of Jesus. All in the name of Jesus. God bless you as my prayers. Remember again, I do not and will not ask you for money. Never. So, not on any videos. I'm not saying I am against it. I am not against it. It's just something that I don't do. God is taking care of me right now. And I just don't feel uh, right about taking anything from anybody. So, uh, I just do pray for that you'd pray for me when you pray um, and uh, pray for everybody on the front lines, uh, Sidney Powell and uh, Linwood and, and they about to try to ruin his life, but God's going to stand up for Linwood. You watch God almighty. So how you know, because you don't take people's life like that and be evil to them. God is a whole lot merciful than we are. You know, God had mercy on Ahab, and I'm going to shut up. But God had mercy on one of the most wickedest people there is, Ahab. So we can't say and judge someone to think that they're this or that. I've watched through this. They've buried people. They've cut people down. They've destroyed people's lives all in the name of good because it's against the agenda of taking away our religious taking away our freedom. God ain't going to allow this, children. America, we can stand up, and how I believe we can stand up is to speak out. Speak out. Pray. Tell the truth. Tell it. Speak it. Christians, stand up. Yeah, you say, well, I'm going to leave it to the Lord. God can take care of anything. That's good. But He expects us to stand up and fight this battle. Our faith is Without works, it ain't a bit of good. It's dead. He told us to go lay hands on the sick. Now, he don't need us to lay hands on them, but he told us to go do it. He could just say the word and you'd be healed. But he told us to do something, make an action. I pray that God blesses each and every one. Uh, and uh, pray with me here right now. Remember the children. Remember all these people that is fighting for our freedom. Uh, uh, my heart really goes out for for uh, all of uh, everybody uh, that has tried to really fight real hard. Um, they're trying to ruin everybody's business, and God, I'm telling you, you know, I, I I've never been one to think that God's just gonna give everybody brand new Cadillacs, but but I do believe God will take care of his people. We'll be the head and we won't be the tail. Lord, I thank you for this word. I thank you for the people. I thank you for America. Lord, I love my country. Oh, Lamb of God, I pray right now, Lord, that you strengthen the people. I pray that you strengthen God, um, all the attorneys, Lord, Miss Powell and Mr. Wood, Miss Linwood, and God, I pray that you touch all the, the the justices, Lord. God, I pray for for all of them. I pray for everybody, all our leaders, Congress, the Senate, and Lord, I pray for the FBI. God, I pray that somehow, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, I pray. Let your spirit, God, go out in the name of Jesus. Find these children, Lord Jesus, I ask. God, I believe in your word. I believe in you, Lord. God, your word has been sent forth. Your word has been sent forth, O Lord. It will not return back void that your word will accomplish oh that that you've set out to do 
this is going to turn around in the next few days, Lord, in the next month or whatever, God, you are fixing to spin this backwards. God, in the name of Jesus, Oh, Lord, they're going to go get him, President Trump, and bring it back. By the power of the Holy Ghost, they're going to show all the fraud. God is going to stand up, and it's going to make, pave a highway, make it easy, Lord, to where we can get out and go into all the world and preach the gospel, Lord, under a freedom and not under a communism to where we'll have to run for our lives. I pray for everyone that's in America and I pray for everyone in this country. I pray for the ones worldwide Lord. God stand up. Stand up by your power. Stand up in the name of Jesus. And I believe it to be so. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you is my prayers. I pray that all of you. Uh, has a great experience with God. I pray that you lay down. And, and the power of God just takes and snatches you somewhere out through heaven. And you come back and you just can't even eat the next day. God bless you. Love you. Appreciate you. I love this country. Pray for me.